there are things unfolding in the world that are wonderfully that are fascinating. Mm -hmm. We're talking about China and the US. There's a, there's a place called Hong Kong, 11 million people. It's a self-administered region of China, and yet it has the US dollar as its peg. Mm -hmm. It's been pegged to the US dollar for, for all my career and, and before, in fact. That peg cannot last because as the Chinese currency continues to strengthen against the US dollar, then Hong Kong will find itself mispriced. It will become very cheap for, for Chinese mainland buyers. It will become cheap for its real estate. It will become cheap for its malls and shopping centers. At some point, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority will have to break the peg with the US dollar. That will be a momentous event. Now, you might think, do we have a precedent for that? We do, because Hong, the Hong Kong dollar is pegged to the US dollar, having been pegged to the UK pound. Yeah. So currencies have their moment of glory. Yeah. And it just so happen, it happens that we are seeing the last hurrah of the US dollar as the, as the monopoly global currency mm -hmm. for commodity pricing, for global savings. The fact that Bitcoin is rising yeah. has as much to do with the fact that it's priced against, in dollars as it having any virtue. Bitcoin has no virtue. It, the problem is that the euro, the yen, the dollar have no lovers. In the case of the yen, the dollar, and the euro, it's an ugly contest. Yeah. Who's the yeah. least ugly? The good news is that you've got this new raft of currencies. As I mentioned, the Canadian dollar, the Australian dollar, the Chinese currency, the RMB, they're going to come increasingly into the fore as stores of wealth. And as they do, if you're Australian or Canadian or Chinese, as your currency lifts, so will your household wealth. So will your business wealth. Mm -hmm. And your ability to buy the rest of the world increases. And as the dollar goes down, American purchasing power goes down. If you'd like to hear this interview in its entirety, then head on over to SoundCloud, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcast, or any other major podcast platform and search Four Corners Podcast.